Hey there guys, welcome back to Let's Play Arts and Elgo, the Middle of Valamia. In this episode, we're going to be going to the final battle with Mir. Is what I would normally say. But in this episode, we're actually going to be, take a small break from the story and do a few side things. I, I would I would, I would, would kind of say they're kind of like side quests, which is kind of funny. Arts and Elgo don't really have that many side quests, other than kind of like the side missions and Arts and Elgo 2. But that's a different story. I'm re referencing Arts and Elgo 2 way too much. I can't wait to play that game. Anyway... In this episode, we're actually going to be taking care of a bit of business in Tenma. Now, you're wondering why I'm in the dive shop. I didn't really show this off in Shirley's um, last episode, last Cobbins Fair episode, but I'll show it off. I normally don't do this, but I'll make an exception other than that one episode. Misha's first dive, since that was part of the story. We got back in Australia. And you exit to a feature that Orca and Misha had at their level 9 Cobbins Fair. We have access to the song store. But the difference is, only, other than her wearing her wedding dress like Oregon Misha, she was wearing her maid outfit. Alright, you came out of, you, you came back. I'm so happy. You're just in time. There's something I wanted to tell you. Since I connected with the Silver Horn, yeah, in her case, it's the Silver Horn, not the Tower. I can gain more power. Well, she in a sense, well, sure you're already connected to Artelco, which makes sense. What I mean is, I can use magic more often. Try to try whenever you feel like crafting song magic. And yeah, so we we seriously can buy any of this and want to. Might she might she consider buying some of this later? I guess I don't know. All right, now that I'll do it off camera. Anyway, now that that's over and done with, <coughs> we can now leave and go to the end and access a feature again that Orca and Misha had, but we have haven't with Shirley for quite a while. I'm surprised we didn't, we didn't get this at uh, level 3 like they did. You pretty much can guess what that is from what I just said. We'll get the knock from... Shirelia. Well, what is it, my lovely, lovely Shirelia? I'm gonna stall with me. Oh, giggity. <laughs> Are you drunk? Yeah, this is sudden. Morning. I got a little nervous when you mentioned installing the other day. I only remember installing with my father, so it reminded me of my father. Now, the reason why our father is in quotation marks is because they never really said his name flat out in this in this game. They mentioned it in Art Arno Surge. I don't know about Art and Elgo 1 and 2. I don't know. 2, I want to say they did, but I don't think they did. Anyway, um, her, her father was named Elenio, and I believe Elenio was the father of a man who first discovered him crystals in the Arsenal Ar world, RCL, I believe so. Yeah, I believe. It's been a while since I read the summary of the light novel. <clears throat> but yeah, that was Australia's father. And he was he was the one responsible for connecting Australia to Arsenal Go, making her the ministry of the tower. It's a man who raised me. He was the only person who mattered to me several thousand years ago. My father connected me to the tower. He connected me to the tower by installing. Okay, so that's a way of installing. So I guess that's how the other Raves of Origins was beginning to administer a tower by installing them to the tower. I could tell because every time he connected me to the tower, he also connect installed me. Okay. But during the procedure, the start, a, a disaster a disaster happened. I almost said struck there. And my father has left this world. I believe that the disaster was in Gravino Fear. I'm trying to remember how he died. Was it the Gravino Fear? I think it was. Or was it near? I forget. I, you know, for some reason, my mind. Is, I think it says something happened to the Chronicle Key, and I, I don't remember. I don't remember. I I gotta look it back. Anyway, <laughs> my last install took place on a day that stretched. So, disaster struck. I know I'm screwing up disaster day. I was so happy when Falk installed. Well, yeah, it's like putting poison into you. As the dive shop dude said. Got a little excited, but you denied me. Wait, deny you? Wait, 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 when did we deny you? I honestly don't remember denying you. 
press idea just didn't really think that was denying you. Okay. And now she literally tells her our stalling point. I can't actually make any funny jokes because that's actually a pretty sad story. Anyway, her stalling point is above her butt. Right? <laughs> uh, liner. <coughs> Didn't say the exact same thing to Misha. But it being between her boobs. <coughs> Orc is actually more sensible since it's on her neck. On the back of her neck. All right, and they don't give you a mandatory install like Organ Misha. No problem, Lady Shirley. That's what we're here for, to help you out. What they do say practice makes perfect. <laughs> so it would make sense that the more we install with Organ Misha, the better you better be at it, even though I haven't been doing that throughout this game. <clears throat> but again, you don't really see yourself using Stalling. I mean, unless you want to, like, Make yourself Uber, go for it, and I'm all for that. I mean, Sky, I'm the Sky at four. Come on. All right, now that that's over and done with, let's just head to the ten bus facility, and I think I'll just show us off. Originally, I wasn't going to cut it out, but I was like, you know what, screw it. Oh, yeah, am I recording Audacity? Please tell me. Oh yeah. Anyway, for a minute, I thought I wasn't. I thought I forgot. For a minute, I thought I forgot to press the record button, but I did. I try to make a habit of doing that. All right. So now we're going to go to a room that we were here. We were here when we first got to Tema. Tema when Board ambushed us and dragged us against our will here to the pr the prison cell or garden, whatever it's called. Now you remember there was a door when Misha helped us escape from Tema that when she got near it, she kind of got scared and almost broke down, if you would. Look at the Tema lab. Now we can actually go beyond that door. Now if we took Misha's path, then you can actually you'll you'll you'll, yeah, you'll actually be you'll actually be res resolving this problem. But you can see, oh yeah, no, there's no more account gate since Tim is a Tim is a good guy now. See, now Misha's no longer scared when she goes to the door. Now what they mentioned was the reason why she was freaking out when she got near the door was because there was actually a high symphonic power wave that that um prevented Misha from going through this door because you remember she was looking for Chronicle Key in, in the Temple facility and she was right on the money. It is in this in this area, just she couldn't get past the door because they were trying to keep her away from it. From getting Chronicle Key again, you know, and halt her halt and halt mere survival. Anyway, now we're here at the Temple facility. Now you notice there are two doors that we can't get past because Lionwood remark is a very heavy door. And no matter what we do, it's not gonna go down no matter what. Now I'm gonna actually switch in Orca because I, I already installed this the green grapple crystal we need for Orca to break down these doors. Now you notice in her in her green song magic, I think I did it with the song shot. Yeah. Notice her level two and three, I put them the shooting power times three and a shooting power plus plus plus. And these are we this is when we get those grapple crystals we've been collecting to use, the green grapple crystals. Now when we actually use it. See she can actually you saw a shot more effectively against these doors. I mean, you could just mash a button, like I'm doing, but it's better to just get a certain rhythm for it. Come on. Come on. There we go. And we have some pretty good stuff here. More specifically, a level 1 red and blue grapple crystal, which is the best grapple crystal in the game. I don't think... I want to say you can graph them out. You can recrystallize these. I'm thinking that's the case. Alright, I'll make sure I get everything, but I believe the, um, I believe the doors regenerate and gotta blast them, you know, like, normal doors. Alright. And get the blessed power, which is good, but this is what you want. Because when you do, you get the ultimate weapon. <laughs> well, what you are, we are gonna, we are gonna actually grab melt up ahead as soon as we get to a save point. There's a safe one up ahead. Speakers report three. Oops. And Ikaruka info three. <laughs> yeah, with the uh, with the Uber Sunshot does fifteen hundred damage. 
So I'm just one shotting everything now. Get down to one. Okay. Okay. I kind of wish Lion could equip katanas, but no, that's only for Aitame. Here we info two, and I think this is yeah, gun two. Good ram cluster. Now let's actually grab milk that ultimate weapon. But this is for our one only protagonist. I'm hoping I have the greens for it. If not, that'll suck. Alright. Where are you? Yeah, it's, it's labeled the extreme super weapon. I think we can probably make this. Oh, we can. Good, good, good. Uh, long ass synthesis chain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Again, the quality doesn't matter. Uh, uh, quality doesn't even matter. I'm gonna try to make it at least. Yeah, let's make it a boy. Oh, this is the first time I'm making it work. That's right. Um. Yeah, put a dragon heart. And so you know it's gonna be effective. Oh, don't worry about it, work out. We won't hurt you with it. And we have the Mercury elements. Indeed, it is. Oh, you're actually pretty, pretty spot on with that, Orga. About making the best weapon. Oops, no, 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 no. Now, we need the Kanade. I'm going to actually unequip the the uh, Kanade that Liner has equipped right now. i got to remember the grab crystals I had for it. Oops. Uh, okay, type strike. Weapon, sure. Okay, I can remember that. Now, let's actually unequip it. Yes, I know. I'll leap. You'll be sortless for a second. Now, grab them all this. Ah, and we can make... I went down the wrong spot. D. Extreme Super Weapon. Which is Lion's best weapon in the game. Oh, whoa, 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 wait, wait. Actually, now that I think about it, before I mess up, it's more appropriate to have Shirelia. Because you'll see in a, in a second why it's so interesting that Shirelia is with it. Is going to be with Lion making this weapon. Now, let's do this. It has a bit anticlimactic now. We now have the extreme super weapon. Do it, Liner and Shirelia. Together forever. With this, we will make. The Eoria Serenade. The one true sword that can truly protect Shirelia. Because Shirelia is actually, uh, Eoria is actually Shirelia's real name. They don't really mention this until Arsenal number 2. This sword shall protect you from oncoming harm, my dear Shirelia. Well, yeah, it's called Eoria's Serenade. It's an image for night, and that's why it's black. But another world sword? Okay, that makes, a little, makes it sound more demonic. <laughs> But no, we're no, we're gonna leave it. Eoria serenade. So now you have Flyer's best weapon in the game. Look at that! Oh yeah! <laughs> oh lord! I remember what we had. I'm trying to see if I can place the upgrade with something stronger. Ting weapon and the I think it was a hero spirit. Wait, was it? Was it? Was it? Mm, actually, was the power actually a little better? Sweet. Yeah, upgrade. So now look at Liner. He's freaking BA. I'm forced to think. Forced to think. A is actually a little stronger than he is. Yep. But you know what? Liner's pretty good. He's pretty BA. I like him. Alright, I don't know why I did that. I could have just used a save point. Anywho, 
no, no, that's all the business we need to take care of. Well, half the business we need to take care of here. There's actually one more feature that we can take care of here. Now, again, to, we just had this, and then this, this corridor will be pretty familiar to. This is where the Chrono Key was being stored. Or rather, the machine that was used to separate Chrono Key from Misha. Reverting her back to her childlike state that we saw her in back at phase one. Or actually, actually in the middle of phase two, too. Huh, <laughs> sound redundant. Now that we go through this door. You'll see two forkers here. And they're still messing with the machine that Borg created. Why? And why is the ominous music, music being played? Who, who are you people? Yeah, this is supposed to be a restricted area, dude. What are you doing here? Not so fast. Where do you think you're going? I have the Ori Serenade now. I can kill your ass right here if you want to. No, help me! <laughs> oh, damn it, they were considering board's research behind Tima's back. Ayano's not gonna like this. But please don't tell the president. Yeah, we can't really promise you that, dude. Ooh, sweet deal. Or, yeah, don't underestimate us. No! <laughs> oh, that's horrible. And what's going on, Misha? What's up? Um. Wait, what? Wait, wait, you want to be small again, Misha? Why? Well, yeah, this was a device to separate Chrono Key from you. Uh, Misha? No, no! I don't know why people were thinking this in Phase 1. This is Phase 1 all over again. I don't like little kids like that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. And yeah, if Christian was the one who, who um, got Chrono Cookie back into Misha, the one when they found it. No, they're, they're going to be taking care of this from now on. Oh, uh, yeah, it's just Psylide, just Psy. <laughs> and we now change Misha's appearance. And you know what, you know what Monster well shows off too? Now we can use that Elfier outfit that we got from Misha's level E Cosmosphere to use. Because now we can revert it back to her childlike state. As you can clearly see. <clears throat> you can even have her fight the last boss in a state too. It won't change the dialogue, it'll just change her appearance. Oh well, no. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm, I don't think it will, but for some reason in the flashbacks with Misha, she still she still speaks in her adult voice even though she was a child so I don't think I really changed it but I don't know anyway so we can now use those use that Elfier outfit I think it's actually better than her um what was it her ceremony outfit I like, see give her a big stat boost and ain't no MP <coughs> excuse me so, yeah but we're gonna revert her back to adult form I prefer adult Misha over small Misha God, it's like a playing Zelda or Green of Time. Alright. And there's actually some there's actually some talk topics too about this. So let's go talk to the girl about that. Let's see what we're gonna say about Misha's body changing whenever she wants to. <laughs> about Misha's body. Uh, why are you jealous of Misha? I have a feeling. I have a feeling. I know what it is, considering what the name of the top topic was. Yeah. Oh no 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 no! I don't. I don't not want that. If you remember in a level five atmosphere, she was a kid and she kept sicking Dolly on everyone else, and she didn't like if it wasn't going her way. And not you too, Orga. I don't like little kids like that. Stop saying that. I'm getting kind of tired of this freaking 
atmosphere. Everyone's thinking I'm like little kids. I don't like little kids like that. <sighs> anyway, let's talk to Misha. The girl of the hour. <clears throat> I love how Misha became bigger. Yes, I died uh, this again. See, we just got past Orga with us, not you. Boy, I think he's older than you, Misha. Wait, isn't Lion like. Wait, how. I'll check the age of this. But I think Lion is, or, um, Lion is older than or, um, Misha. True thing, Troy, yeah. About Misha's body changed this one. Uh, don't think. Please don't say you want to be a child, too. Sure. Surely. Uh, of course. Of course. <laughs> Oh, right, yeah, since Torelia was... I guess you can say she was built. Because she has a race of origin. She was created for the... For the purpose of becoming the, um... Ministry of the... I, I wouldn't say she was created for that specific purpose. I think... <sighs> it's been a long time I read the summary. I think she'll just... She was... No, 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 no. I think origin were created for the reason to become the Ministry of the Tower. I think that was the case, yeah. So yeah, even though Shirley was created, she always always had this size no matter what. So even after like a thousand years, she's the same size. Of course they are. Think about it. Even after a thousand years, the part of your body, the parts of your body that you don't like will never change. Yeah, what are you talking about specifically? Like? Of course you're not talking about that. <laughs> of course you're not going to tell us. Oh uh, lord. Alright, now that we've taken taken care of that, there's one more thing we need to do that I can think of right now. Alright, um when we do that, I'm gonna actually um I'm gonna actually fast forward, but it's actually quite a way. This is back at the plasma bell. So I'll see you guys in five, four, three, two, one. And we are back. As you can see, the power of time travel once again. Anyway, if you remember, this is the room where we were at when we had to try to stop Aitani from the point from destroying the plasma bell. Now, if we go back, we'll meet the lovely Kanade once again, as you can see. She was revived, and she's back to normal too. Even though they still call her child light, kind of what she did to say Kanade, but whatever. No problem. Oh, oh, okay, they did change her name. Good. I'm the third maintenance droid sister. Yeah, who's the second then? I used to have a big sister named Mai. Mai and I were guardians of the. Oh, okay. So I guess Mai was the guardian of the other plasma bell, and unfortunately, she died. She used to guard the. We used to guard the pair of bells. She guarded the grill for the right wing of the horse. Yeah, during the war. Um, you did? I'm, I'm actually, I'm happy you enjoyed it, I guess. <laughs> she loves fighting, apparently. Uh, fight you again? Um, sure, why not? Yes, yes, Kane is actually an optional boss in this game. And get, and get to listen to different battle music, too. Now, now, Kanade, she actually shares a special feature in the optional boss in Arts and Local 2, and I would say Arts and Local 3 as well. Now, you need to defeat... Well, I'll just say this while I'm fighting her. Now, when you're fighting Kanade, you need to fire at least, I think, five times. I think five times, and you'll access a special feature in the game. Now, I'll just show off this battle, but the, last five, the next four fight battles I'm going to actually skip. I'm not like fast forward and actually just skip them. So we always show off this battle. Just to see how strong. Because the more you fire, the stronger she gets. And believe and believe if you want to get in one fighter again, you gotta actually fight like five more encounters, then go fight her. 
It's been a while since, since I played it, so once I remember how it works, I'll let you know. I, well, when we get the song magic. It's always good to try to get level 4 gravity crystals. I mean, tier 4 gravity crystals. Ouch. That hurts. That, that really hurt to miss. Alright, we, we don't really need energy fail. We just need to kill. Begin song. Yeah. yeah, we'll be fine. No, actually, no, screw it, energy fail. I love energy fail. Screw it. Begin song. Synchronization. Haha, <laughs> look at that. Moving on to first level two. And we're finished. Awesome. That is it. Yes, that is it. Alright, Tony. Fabulous battle record. Experience. And get the genuine zero. Oh, you know what? Uh, it, it might not even be worth trying to trying to farm for those. I might just go inch field and just take her out, I guess. Anyway. Are you really to lose? I'm saving this battle for my memory. I'll analyze your tactics based on the last battle next fight. So next time it will be easy to defeat me. <laughs> Seriously, the more we fight, the better we we get. It's like the better you get. And she'll say, if you beat me oh yeah, it says five times. If you beat me five times, I'll give you a wonderful gift. Until we need to fight her, I think five more times or four more times. Okay. Now, um, yeah, okay. I'll be, I'll be back when we get to the last fight. So I'll see you guys. And again, time skip. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, guys, and we are back. As if that didn't take five flipping years. <laughs> oh Lord. All right. So now that we defeat Kanye, we'd actually go back, and she will give us our special gift for the fighting, for, for defeating her five times. Ooh, that took a long time. Anyway, yeah, what are you going to give us? It is drum rolls, please. Um, have you? Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> wait, hey, wait, your analysis key. Call you anytime. I'm sure I can help you out during battles. So call me whenever you need me. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's what she meant. Okay. For a second, I thought Lion Lion was going to expand his harem. Uh, well, um, of course not. <laughs> yeah, of course not. Sure, sure he's like, uh huh. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Kanye is like, huh? What's going on? Don't worry about Kanye. Anyway, we have the Child of Light as such red magic for Australia. Yeah, so this is the optional summit I was talking about. Oh, that took a while to do. Oh, Lord. But yet, we have practically all the song magic in the game. And I can tell from my levels, because I actually was was fighting every single fight, because you need to fight, I think, five battles to fight a uh, fight kind of again. And, and actually, uh, uh, interestingly enough, I found out you don't have to fight the battles. You can just get in the battle and run, because I think it's quote-unquote... It classifies that as spending time. So yeah, I decided to fight all the battles and I gained levels. So this is gonna help me out against the battle against Mir. So anyway, I'm gonna end up the episode here. And oh, and oh, oh, and also one more thing I want to mention. There's actually you know that best armor I said I was gonna get make for really the crown. Well, there's actually an enemy here and it's in the area where you fight against Kanade, and there is a rare enemy. And you need you need you need, uh, you need to get the level four tier graph node crystal reward after the battle to get the material needed to craft the Dutio or crown for Tio. So, oh, so I'm going to try to get that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I'll try just since I won't be recorded and I can take as much time as possible. But yeah, I'll try to get that so we can get Shirley's best armor. Anyway, I'll end it here. But next time, let's take a on code. It's going to be the final episode. Well, potentially the final episode. I don't know how many parts. I don't know how long that's going to be. So, I'll tell you guys, I'll see you guys next time for the final battle.